What's up guys, and today we're doing Fisher of Oblivion, it's a solo instance, and um, you get a lot of experience from it, and certain people don't know how to run it, or can't make it, and that kind of stuff, so I'll show you how to run it. So let's start. So mostly I just run straight to this map over here. Use the turret skill, run away, get this mob, this mob that I just uh, marked number one, uh, transforms into a dragon, but when he's getting close, make sure that you kill him first. As you can see, he turned into a dragon, or like... He's sitting on a dragon right now. This is like a mini Fashid from uh, Eternal Bastion. Okay, so now we're running here. And if you run over here, you can see what Fetty you get. And we're getting a Fire Fetty. So that will be fat. Always kill the range mobs first. Also, a range mob. Now, all the range mobs are dead. AoE those mobs with a fear, run away from them. Gonna aggro this mob over here, it's another dragon. Gonna try not to kill him. Mob spawn over here. I have a lot of mobs on me. This one, drag the dragon mob with me. So, like the first kill gives you, it's like a a warp forwards, but it also makes sure that your first and second skill does more damage. And this is why I dragged the number one mob with me because now that it's in a dragon, I can just keep focusing on the Fetty and the dragon would die very soon anyway. But anyway, um, the second skill is like a, uh, an AoE skill you can kill mobs with. The third skill is like a leech skill. It does damage and it also gives H back HP as you can see right now. But 2400 almost 25 now only 16 because I didn't use the first skill so uh, the fourth skill is like a fear AoE but it also burns uh, the person that's getting feared so it's extra DOT damage so that's also pretty nice also when you're doing the instance don't forget to pop an XP amulet because it gives you nice experience. Even at um, 73, you get it around like 0. 0.55. And that's even without um, a Legion buff. Legion buffs gives like 10% extra. So, like, if I would be in a Legion that had like 10 plus players online, then I would have gotten like over 0.6% each run. So this Fetty is almost down. And we're not even 5 minutes in the instance, so that's pretty nice. Like mostly my mark is like 25 minutes, as you can see we have like 25, 30 seconds. Just 
should die right now. Okay. Hopefully it's wind. No, it's water. That's always a pain. Kind of leggy. Now I'm just gonna run away. Turn into fire again. Because I hate water. Hopefully we don't have a water fetty. But probably now that I say that we're getting a water fetty later on. Six more mobs on the bridge, and then just some regular mobs. That ranger that I feared away still died. Oops. Thought I wouldn't kill it, but apparently I did. AoE it, because otherwise I'm going to die. Hopefully I get the dragon. I wasn't paying attention on the screen, sorry. So I got a dragon, and that's pretty nice. Makes it a little bit faster. Otherwise you have so many mobs to kill at this section. Turn into fire to get some more HP. Dragging the other mobs with me. Not a fire fetty.
I did that to update the quest because um, after this fatty we have to go downstairs and kill some more fire mobs or like uh, magical mobs to update the quest. So why not do it now? Almost point two percent. Will I get another essence? Point thirty four. Mm, maybe. Will be a close call. Mostly it's uh, around the 18 minute marker that you kill this fatty. It really depends on uh, how fast you can kill uh, the fetties and which one spawns. Kind of messed up uh, in a certain area, but it's, it's whatever, you know, like just to show you guys how to kill the mobs and how to do it properly. So this city is down. Wow, I rubber banded back. That never happened before. Probably because I'm uh, using freps right now. No, 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 it didn't do that. Oh well. Maybe it's because the stairs was too... Uh, too glitchy, I don't know. Doesn't matter. He still killed them. Then you go back up the stairs. Take the wind stream. It blows you up and then uh, you go over here. Let's see what mob is over here. Dragon mob. We're just gonna aggro it. We're not gonna attack it. So that the uh, NPCs that are running over there are getting the mob. So what you do over here, you're just gonna aggro uh, or like attack the ranged mobs. And all the melee mobs will just follow you. This doesn't matter anymore. I grow the dragon. Transform again, go back to fire. And the dragon is down. Get this mob. 
And just drag it towards the dragon that spawns over here. Oops. That was uh, a fail. But yeah, you should be at the dragon uh, around 15 minute mark. I would be faster if I didn't have traps on, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll still uh, get a D rank. Oh, water fatty, as I expected. Magical mobs. Now we're going back to the Fetty. And what I mostly do when uh, I have a water Fetty on, uh, or the last Fetty is going to be a water Fetty. I'm just gonna drag it where we killed the other mobs just now. Sometimes it does that, like normally you should be able to do three times the three times the skill, but sometimes this form is a little bit glitchy and you can only do one time the second skill. I hate this form anyway. But yeah, normally you're at the boss at the 10 minute marker around that time. One time I had three warrior fetties and I was at like the boss 60 minutes and the boss was also on easy forms and I was done in no time. I had like over 11 minutes left on the clock while doing a full run. So instead of getting a D rank, you're getting a C rank if you have 10 minutes left. Okay, so those are sins. So I'm not going to that area in that circle. I'm staying here and killing the Fetty. Thirty-six. Uh, 
And I still need point eighteen. Nah, I'm not gonna make it. If Eddie was already dead, I could still use a skill. Oh well. Okay, so we're going to fire transform because Sinon Sinon doesn't really matter. Earth would be fast, but I have to be fire transform for the first form of the boss because that goes the fastest. Use each skill, it died, gives me some HP back. So now we're running towards the boss with 9 minutes left on the clock. Not that fast, but it's good enough. Okay, this is what I hate. Because those ads are annoying. Spawning the ads right now. And of course he spawns them right next to me. Let's see. Oh my god. And you see, they hurt when they hit you. Wasting too much time on this form. Need to be fast, eh? I'm being really unlucky. I'm gonna use this form again. to die. The sting of my blade awaits. Oh, I'm glad he transformed. Okay, this is the uh, easiest one though. I was really unlucky at the uh, spear form, like the wind form, because he was spawning the ads the whole time where I was running to. Almost died in the video, oh my god, shame on me. <laughs> But yeah, I love this uh, form. Like, this boss dies so quickly on this form. No. Oh. I was like, where the heck is he? Probably is going to die right now. Nope. 
he was one hit away. So five minutes left is pretty bad to be honest. Normally I have like seven, eight minutes left. Um, it's because I wasted too much time on the wind transform. Okay, bounty. And I have 0 0.04 left on my essence. Oh well. So this was uh, Fisher of Oblivion. I hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.